Then we have a beautiful story which is muttafaq alayh, reported by Al-Bara ibn Azib radiallahu an. You and I are aware that before we faced Makkah al mukarramah in Qibla, where did we used to face? Baytul Maqdis, Jerusalem. So there came a time when Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he wanted to change the facing for, of the Jerusalem to facing somewhere else. And he used to look up to the skies. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, قَدْ نَرَى تَقَلُّبَ وَجْهِكَ فِي السَّمَاءِ فَلَنُوَلِّيَنَّكَ قِبْلَةً تَرْضَاهَا Indeed, we have seen the turning of your head, the turning of your sight and vision towards the sky. We saw the turning of your face towards the sky. We will indeed let you face a qibla that will please you. It will be something that will make you happy, a place. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَوَلِّ وَجْهَكَ شَطُرَ الْمَسْجِدِ الْحَرَامِ So turn your face towards Al Masjid Al Haram, and that is Makkah Al Mukarrama. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had revealed this, and the people had fulfilled Salatul Asr facing the new direction, facing the direction of Makkah Al Mukarrama. So, after having read the Salah, one of the men from amongst those who read with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam happened to go out to another area in the outskirts or on the outskirts of Medina Munawwara. And he saw people reading Salatul Asr. They were, they were involved or engaged in Salah with Jama'ah, Salatul Asr. They were facing the old Qibla. They were facing Jerusalem. And so while they were in Salah, he made an announcement loudly to say the Qibla has been changed to Makkah al Mukarrama, to Al Masjid al Haram in Makkah. And they heard him. They knew he was honest. They, the Imam was standing facing the front. The entire masjid in Salah, Salatul Asr, they turned around while in prayer and completed the rest of their prayer facing Makkah al Mukarrama. And for your information, it was a 180 degree turn. That place became known as Masjid al Qiblatain. If you visit Medina Munawwara now and you see al Qiblatain, you should know the history of it is they were in Salatul Asr. It is the only place where one Salah was read. Half of it facing the old direction and the other half facing the new direction. How beautiful. So now, some people later on, obviously a question would arise. What is the question? What happens to the salah that we read facing the old direction? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed verses. And this is made mention in both Sahih al-Bukhari and Sahih Muslim and many other books of hadith where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ لِيُضِيعَ إِيمَانَكُمْ Allah will never ever waste your prayer. When you've read your salah, Allah is not going to waste that salah of yours. You faced the old direction. Those who passed away, not having even known about the new direction, their salah was valid. For example, if we were to make a mistake and we were to try our best to face the direction of the Qibla and we then fulfilled our Salah, later on we found out the direction you read was wrong. The truth is your Salah will still be valid because the time has lapsed and you did not know you tried your best. Your duty was to try and you did not know. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says he will not waste your Iman. Iman here is referring to Salah, your prayer. Subhanallah. It is the height of belief. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a lesson from this. Let us all learn to fulfill our salah because salah is a sign of iman.